Let's just focus for a minute on what it means that the Israeli Defense Forces killed three of the hostages yesterday. The first thing it means is that they're shooting people that don't pose any threat on site without, you know, a second uh, trying to assess what's going on. And while it's unfortunate that it happened to these three hostages, that they've murdered these three hostages now, they've probably murdered a lot of people in that exact way that didn't make the news like this did. And as sad as this is, it's a good thing that it finally made the news. It should be enough spark to blow back um, the entire idea of war to save hostages instead of negotiations, which was actually working to save hostages, and save hostages on both sides. And it should overthrow Netanyahu. It also is pretty striking to realize that Hamas had kept these hostages alive for this entire time, through months of bombing, and then Israel kills them the very first chance they get. Um, this indicates so much about how this war is being conducted, but it also just indicates why war is wrong, why war doesn't work, and why we need to stop war and stop tyrants and arrest the tyrants for their war crimes so that we don't have anybody running any country like this anymore.